All right. It is still Thursday, but I still have tomorrow off from work. But I've switched over to eating Teddy Grahams now. Teddy Grahams. I like Teddy Grahams. Probability, making predictions. Let's remember how to solve proportions. Remember something like this? If 3 over 5 See if this looks familiar. 3 over 5 is the same thing as x over 20. I know some of you can do this in your head, but I'm going to review this method right here. So 60 equals 5x. Remember that? 60 equals 5x. And I'm going to divide it by 5, both sides by 5. x equals 15. So let's remember how to solve a proportion. We learned that earlier in the year. We've done that. That was one of the big things we, we did. Here's how it's going to set up with the probability. We're going to be looking at the favorable outcomes over all possible outcomes and setting that equal to favorable outcomes favorable outcomes over all possible outcomes. We're going to set up these two ratios, set them equal to each other, and we're going to solve it. Let's see how this works out. Oops. Too far. Too far. That's good. Harim is playing darts. So far, he has hit the bullseye two times and missed the bullseye eight times. Okay, let's set this up. Favorable over all. He has two favorables over eight unfavorables. It's not favorable over unfavorable. It's favorable over all. How many times has he thrown the dart? He's thrown the dart 10 times. Favorable over all. I had to add the favorables with the unfavorables to get this number 10, this all value. Let's keep going. Consider, ooh, the lights, the lights, the lights. Let's keep going with this. Consider this data. How many bullseyes, so favorables, would you expect Harim to get during his next 20 tosses? Well, that's the favorable, the bullseyes, over how many tosses? 20. So favorable over possible, uh, favorable over all equals favorable over all. And I can solve this. I can do this one in my head. What? I'm just doubling it. 10 went to 20. 2 goes to 4. We would expect four bullseyes out of that. So it comes down to setting up these two ratios, setting them equal, and solving them. Dominique's Bagel Shop recorded how many bagels it recently sold in each flavor. And here are the numbers. Four blueberry bagels. Four, oh my goodness, four blueberry bagels? Four blueberry bagels, it's hard to say. Three poppy seed bagels and seven onion bagels. Considering this data, how many of the next 10 bagels sold should you expect to be onion bagels? Onion bagels. Well, looking up here, our original data, What's the probability of an onion bagel? Well, there are seven onion bagels out of 14 bagels total. Equals how many onion bagels we want out of 10 bagels. That's our proportion. Let's solve this. 
This is an easy one for me to see what's going on here. It, it's going down. Maybe this is a 6 or a 5. Well, look, at, I can do it. 7 over 14, that's a half. x over 10, that has to be a half also. So x is 5. So the next, if I sell 10 bagels, half of them would be onion, which makes sense. Half of them are onion. Half of them are onion. During free time yesterday, two preschoolers chose to play dress up and 10 preschoolers chose to do other activities. Based on past data, if 24 preschoolers at school today, how many should you expect to play dress up? Okay, well let's set up our first ratio. I have two preschoolers playing dress up out of how many total? Is it two out of 10? No, it's 2 out of 12. I have 10 that are not playing dress up, 2 that are. This is the favorable out of all. And now we're looking at 24 preschoolers. How many are playing dress up? Well, it looks like we're doubling the values, 12 to 24, 2 to 4. So 4 preschoolers. X equals four. All right. That was a good one. I'm going to go have some more Teddy Grahams.